Brothers and sisters, if one is caught in sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves. Or you may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens. And in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are something else when they are not, they deceive themselves. Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their load. Nevertheless, the one who receives instruction in a word should share all good things with their instructor. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whosoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit they will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest it will, if we do, not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. You know, there's a, a few things um, in that particular reading from Galatians uh, 6 and uh, that we kind of twist around and pull apart and put them back together so that it suits our purposes as human beings and not necessarily the spiritual intent that um, it may have been intended by um, by how it was inspired by God. Um, well, one, we should actually help each other. When we see see a person falter, we should lift them. And when we lift them, we don't. We shouldn't do it out of, oh, you disgusting fool, but lift them as, hey, brother, you know, I'm going to fall too, but let's help each other. When I fall, you help. When you fall, I help. Because it's going to happen. <laughs> And, and because we are tempted, and we are going to fall to, t to that temptation, and we are going to eventually find ourselves giving in to that temptation. And we shouldn't judge each other for giving in to that temptation. We should just simply help each other. With that, I I I, I want to bring up bring up an issue that is very apparent in our community, and in uh, I fear that a bunch of us are being left behind because of it. And th that has to deal with mental health. That 
we see people that that may be living on the streets. They're homeless, but we don't try to understand. We're just and most of this is is fear, and this is one of the one of the things that it, that is that is within this text that we truly just try to forget about. That a lot of this is talking about fear. He's telling he's telling people because we get afraid when we see somebody who who is caught up in sin or caught up in a situation we we turn away we don't we 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 don't try to help each other when we see a person is is down instead we judge and that's th- that's not what we're supposed to. We it's not for one. It's not. It's, it's written with. If you if you read long enough through through the the, the text of the Bible, we're going to find specifically where it says there's only one judgment. There's only one being allowed to judge. That is God. The rest of us have no room to judge, but we judge. When when someone falls, instead of lifting them up, we judge. And how I know we judge because, oh, he's homeless. I bet you he's he's a, a, addicted to some drugs or something, or he's a, he's some some kind of lost alcoholic. I sh- I shouldn't give him money. Why would why would I give give that person money? All they're gonna do is take it and, and, and go buy a bottle of booze and drink it. They're not gonna buy try to buy any food. They're not gonna do anything worthwhile for it. So why should I bother with them? Or oh, somebody from some shelter will, will come deal with that. Okay, so there are solutions for 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 some of the things I just said, and I have done some of them. I'm headed into a restaurant for a business meeting, and I I network so that I can push um, a company forward, push uh, push ideals forward. By networking and getting people to gathering people around it, and the business community is a great place to do that because, hey, they they have money, and we need the money to to push these uh, these ideas forward. The idea of of love and a uh, universal love that God is everywhere, kind of love, right? Need we in this particular day and age, we need money to help push push those ideas forward. So, I talk to business people about it, and they and sometimes they help, and in and, and other times, you know, they some do less, some do more. Okay. As I was going into into the restaurant for the for the meeting, and this was this was a I do 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 this sort of thing all the time. Instead of handing him money, I go inside and I pay for a meal. Something something simple, something basic, and I invite the 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 homeless person inside, and I tell the wait staff I'm paying for their meal put it on on my credit card as a like something simple something something reasonable you, you know figure it out like it may be a burger and a fries something like that right something simple some something something reasonable um and i did this one time and you know, the the guy he 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 um, he did he picked out something something reasonable and 
something that was easily prepared, a sandwich and um, a side and the people that I was meeting with were, were in awe. They were shocked. It's like, well, why did you do that? It's like, well, he was hungry and he wanted food. Um, and it's better to give him food than if I would have given him cash. We all could agree that he might have given the... the gone, gone around to, to the liquor store around the, the corner and, and bought booze. Is that what we, what we all would be thinking, right? And I nailed on the head. They were all thinking that and it's like, oh, well, it's pretty awesome to give him just to buy him a meal. I was like... Sometimes that works out better. You know. And on reverse. On other times. I actually did give. A homeless person money. Because. Someone had stolen his bike. And as it turned out. He was a bike carrier. In 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 the area. It just he had trouble. Making enough money. To be able to afford an apartment. So, bought him a, a bike. We all, a bunch of people gave him money so that he could go buy a bike. And that's what he did. He actually went and bought the bike. So, in that case, money was was the more optimal thing to do. But the point, some of the point is, we can't sit there, point the figure, and say, N- not those people. Because it, at the end of this, as we have an opportunity, let us do good for all people. The guy with the bike was a believer that he could get into a better situation. He believed that. Especially to those who belong to the family of believers. The man with the bike believed he could get into a better situation. The reason why he believed that is because he believed that God was standing here with him to help him. I gave him money. But the point is, is I stopped to get to know him. The guy with the sandwich... Unfortunately, I did not get to know him, or else I may have found better ways to help him than just simply buying him a sandwich. But I bought him the sandwich. Maybe that sandwich was enough, it gave him enough energy to take a next step where somebody else could have given him money that would have helped him to improve his situation to give get help him get to a better place the thing is is that we go around we tossing tossing out terms oh you reap what you sow meaning that see he made a bunch of mistakes therefore he deserves to be on the street but we're saying that out of fear. Because we know at any second we could slip by on a mistake ourselves and wind up there. We don't know what got that person to be living on the street. We don't know. So therefore we are afraid to find out. And that's the whole point. We can't be afraid to find out. We can't be. We have to protect ourselves from the temptation. But at the same time. We can't be afraid to fulfill the law of Jesus Christ. That law of Jesus Christ means that we help. And yes. With that. We're allowed to take pride in our successes. And we're allowed to share with others who instruct us, who got us to the point where we found our way to success. And 
And we th- leading back to the idea of success, we oh, we, we cookie cutter success. Oh, it has to be a dollar amount. It doesn't have to be a dollar amount. If we look back at this text again, whosoever whoever sows to please their flesh will reap destruction. Here's where success belongs. Whoever sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. I hang out with a bunch of entrepreneurs. And one of the things is is like when you hang out with 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 different audiences you find out different things. I hang out with a bunch of entrepreneurs and one of the things is most of them don't plan on retirement. The reason why they don't plan on retirement is because the thought never crosses their mind because they're doing what they love. They are successful because they are doing what they love what they love right now. I'm gonna say that again. They're doing what they love right now. If you are doing what you are what you love, the question becomes and this is the big question for success Do you need to retire from it? Is it truly work? Work you retire from. A life of doing what you love. You can keep going. Until that final day comes. Interesting thought. Some of us are perfectly it, it is what they're what you're looking for is to be able to retire and do nothing by the beach. There is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that version of success. That's what you that's what you truly want. For some finding that one thing that you get you up in the morning. That it literally tugs you out of bed. Let's go do this. That thing. When you find it. You'll do it. Until that final day. So let us pray on that. Lord. You, in Galatians. You have provided us with a blueprint for a successful life. A life that will help our community grow and that will provide for all. Help us to live that life that you that you have provided. Help us to carry each other's burdens. Help us to do it without judgment. Help us to do take pride in the things that we have done well so that we can share them with our community. Help us to carry our own load as we help others to to carry theirs. Help us to find those things that provide for our spirit as well as as we we might provide for for our own flesh because we live in a society help us to f- to live for those opportunities where we help each other the thing is help us to realize that our brothers and sisters are also 
the angels and, and networkers for you. And that they all carry the love that you want for all of us. Help us to realize that by helping each other, we all share in your love. And we all share in your spirit and what you want for us. Amen.